control the uh, the clearance of on every single wheel I have. Yeah. Yeah. Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. We are outside of Sacramento, California. Let's go on a tour of AB Tools. We're gonna see an end mill? Yeah, yeah, I took a whole three, four minutes out of my life and <laughs> yeah. set up an end mill. Okay, so the oh, end mill that I awesome. decided oh, to make for oh, you guys. Hold, hold on, man. You yeah. gotta explain it. We are looking at like amazing Anka, you know, German. Uh, this is uh, Australian. Australian yep. um, grinding machine. So um, let's give the basics. You, you've got a, an X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis. Yeah. Your tool is in the collet right here. Uh -huh. This is a carousel yeah. of, of tool holders, right. and your tools here are what you look at there, the arbors. And in this case, you've got a cup wheel and a, what do you call it, disc? A, di a dish wheel. A dish wheel. Some people call them gash wheels. Got it. Okay. And then it also has a coolant manifold. Each each wheel pack has its own coolant manifold. So when it does a tool change, it grabs a new right. coolant manifold, which is just brilliant. It makes yeah. so much sense. And I can program which nozzle is coming on and off so that, so that the coolant isn't wasted. You get as much pressure, pressure as possible out. where you want it to be. Uh, so you got X, Y, and Z, but you also have C, uh, which is the wheel, and you also have A, which is the, which is the tool spindle, yep. and then you also have four soft axes. So a combination of all the different axes oh together. God. So you end up with uh, nine axes. Okay. Yeah. And so. W and D. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and seldom they're all nine moving, but a lot of times you get seven. Yeah. yeah. And, and 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 sometimes you'll get eight. No. Nope. Oh, That's it. Uh, so we're going to take that piece of solid carbide. Yep. Solid carbide and we're going to. An it's being held in a AB tool tool extension holder called an Accu hold. And isn't this thing beautiful? And I was saying some of these machines are years old and they've never been cleaned. They just stay like this. This one's probably a year and a half, a yeah. year and a half, two, almost two years. Um, but, but like I said, yeah, this, this coolant just stays clean. So we're going to make an end mill. Yep. Something like that. All right. Ready? That's it. Is there cool infiltration yes. issues? Oh, uh, no. It's a... No issues. It's, it's a, the, the filters are 5 micron. Okay. And um, okay. then it's also chilled. So, oh, yeah. so it stays yeah. real nice and clean. There's a little pink hue right now okay. um, because some of the cobalt and the wheels are also have that. Some of them are copper and stuff. Yeah. So it gets a little bit of that leached into the coolant. Yeah. But it's very clean. Very, very, uh, uh, it's not toxic at all. It's just straight grinding oil. oil. You know, it's, yeah. Closest relative would be vegetable. Oil. Gotcha. Okay. So, here you go. Grind. Here you go. Okay. So, first thing it does is probe because it wants to find the end. That's, that's supporting. You mind? And you can go to all sides of the machine. That's why I chose this one to iron on. So, uh, probe the so side. It already probed the, the end of the tool. Tool change. And so now it's going to do oh, uh, the first operation, which is probe. Okay, so rough, roughing in the flutes, if you will. No, it's just going to flute. It's just going to flute. Yeah. Oh Some my. people rough, I don't know. Yeah. Unless don't. it's a one inch or something like that. Yeah, yeah. you just go for it. I just do the whole thing. Oh my god. Because I can tell the machine exactly what kind of load I want, and it'll keep it right there, and it'll adjust the feed and everything for it. And that's what's amazing to me, is you don't get as much load up as I would think. So hopefully you guys can see it, but you know, think of the spindle as like an A-axis or a fourth axis. So it's rotating as it's in feeding in the X um, and, and cutting your crunch. So you can do variable helix or variable pitch. Variable helix, so all that. Pitch. And you can totally control it. You can control uh, everything by, by uh, 
by the different parameters that are available. You can control the core, the web, you can control the, uh, like we can even go into here and, and it shows you. You, know, oh you can God. control the end of tool, you can control the uh, the clearance of, of, of how, you know, how wide that is, yep. the bullet that gets in there. You, you know, everything, is, it's, it's pretty much unlimited what you can do. Amazing. And you know, it, you just change the wheels if you want more fluids, less fluids. You know, it's all varied by what you, you know, it's only uh, limited by your uh, ideas. So the first time you load a, say, a three inch cup wheel in there and you cut with it, it's not going to be perfectly on three inches. So you just measure. No, we probe the wheel. You probe the wheel. In the machine. Brilliant. Yes. That's awesome. Got it. If you don't know where the wheel is, see over here where I touch off, I don't have to do it here because you know exactly the size of the yep. wheel. So you just program the tool and it knows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It knows where it's at. Right now it's plunging and the heel clearance because I'm making a corner, uh, okay. a corner round of the tool, a corner radius. Is this a tool you guys make and no. sell or are you just doing it for fun? I'm good. Thank you. It's awesome. <laughs> I uh, seriously, uh, it's on my list of things to see. It's right here. you never seen this? No. It's awesome. No, I've, it's the main thing it's going to do, it's fluted and it's and it's cleared the heel. Yeah. So now it's going to grab a wheel and it's going to do the radius gashing. So basically, uh, if it was just the square end mill, it would just do a straight gash. Uh -huh. Yeah. But because it has a corner radius, it's going to do an actual Sweet. helical radius. But I, I only did a 15,000th radius, so it's not going to be that gotcha. obvious. So guys, we talk about this on our videos, you know, buy corner rounded end mills, even if it's a three thou radius in the tip, you know, for the work we do, no one's gonna care about that. And you're getting rid of the weakest point of the tool when you put a little corner radius on it. Three's a pain in the butt though. Five's okay. Five's okay, <laughs> okay. If you're gonna, you could even put a, a, a like a 2000 uh, chamfer. Which Interesting, it's a hard chamfer, right. Way better, and that's cheaper. Yeah, that's interesting. Never thought about that. Of course. So the way gashing usually works is uh, you almost always have on end mills that, that where they cut the center. You're, can you and show so, me gashing on like on this? I don't know what that term. So the end is gashed. Okay. So the so two flutes cut the center and two don't. So you have to adjust yeah, the depth. Alternate. Okay. Interesting. So on a non-center cutting tool, there is no gashing? There can be, okay. uh, um, but it doesn't have to be. Like for instance, if it's a cutter that's not designed to center cut, gashing will allow it to cut freer on the bottom. Not too long ago on Instagram, somebody posted that they were getting a lot of swirls on the bottom of the part. Yeah. And that's because they didn't have enough dish, uh, which, which is very similar to not having a good gash. Right, okay. Because it happens is the chips get packed within the center of the bottom of the tool. There's nowhere for it to go. Sure, sure, sure. Interesting. So now it's going to uh, actually grind the diameter and the radius and the end all at the same time. Say that again? It's going to grind the diameter and the end and the radius all at the same time. <laughs> Secondary first, primary. Three minutes, 46 seconds. Half inch tool, 750 length of cut, four flutes, 15,000 radius. And on something like this, so, you're uh, purchasing a carbide blank. So this is the first and last operation. You're done. This is ready to ship, right? We don't make them. No, I know, but but, <laughs> but you know, it's yeah. been it's actually impressive how much workflow goes into yeah. some of the other. I do make them for Tom all the time. Yeah. Uh, and Tim. <laughs> I I feel beyond grateful. Uh, this has been on my list of things I've wanted to see. Now it all makes sense, right? So yeah. it's actually I think at that this one's probably six and a half. For three minutes I, I did a regrind. Gotcha. That's yeah. why it was three minutes. So what does this machine do for you guys most often? Oh shoot. All form tools. I mean yeah. it ranges from, oh, from yeah. crazy silly yeah. forms. Look at that. To, Look uh, at that guys. To yeah. dovetails that, that that are just crazy. Uh, a lot of uh, the a lot of cord uh, and, and Alternating style tools, uh, dovetails with a lot of shear on them. Yep. Uh, yeah. Radius with cords. We can do uh, uh, spot reamers, uh, or not oh. spot reamers, but step reamers. Yeah. Step reamers. Yeah. So 
know, we can do a lot of that. That's not our claim to fame. Uh, I used to always no float Z feed cutters, but now with these, we can do them a little bit better. Uh, manually, those are very time consuming. And, uh, you know, for us, five to seven business days, promise, it's hard to make money when you're doing something that takes a whole day to do it. For sure. <laughs> yeah. But for you guys out there, AV makes great Picatinny rail stuff. They make some other really good firearm tools. And if you have a production part or you have a job where you need a custom tool made, they'll help you make the right geometry. And, and you guys will do it for one or two or three tools. Yeah, well, yeah. one tool. One tool. One's our minimum. One's the minimum. Yeah. yeah. Do, it's fluted and it's and it's cleared the heel. Yeah. So now it's going to grab a wheel and it's going to do the radius gashing. So basically, uh, if it was just a square end mill, it would just do a straight gash. Uh -huh. but because it has a corner radius, it's going to do an actual Sweet. helical radius. But I I only did a fifteen thousandth radius, so it's not going to be that That's obvious. Good. do for you guys most often? Oh, shoot. All form tools. I mean, yeah. ranging from, oh, from yeah. crazy silly forms yeah. to uh, guys. to yeah. dovetails that, that, that are just crazy. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of cord uh, and, and alternating style tools. Um, dovetails with a lot of shear on them. Yep. Okay. Uh, radius with cords. We can do uh, uh, spot reamers, uh, or not oh. spot reamers, but step reamers. Yeah. Step reamers, yeah. So, you know, we can do a lot of that. That's not our claim to fame. Uh, I used to always know about Z feed cutters, but now with these, we can do them a little bit better. Uh, manually, those are very time consuming. And, uh, you know, for us, five to seven business days, promise, it's hard to make money when you're doing something that takes a whole day to do it. <laughs> yeah. But for you guys out there, AB makes great Picatinny rail stuff. They make some other really good firearm tools. And if you have a production part, if you have a job where you need a custom tool made, they'll help you make the right geometry. Yeah. And, and you guys will do it for one or two or three tools. Yeah, yeah. one tool. One tool. One's our minimum. One's our minimum. Yeah. So here's a Picatinny setup. Yeah. This is the one I made for IMPS. So this oh, this was made for, with our uh, female Picatinny cutter. Yep. And um, also our slot. We have a slotting tool that does the slots and chamfers at the same oh, time. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And then we also make the uh, the male cutter that does the female. And the male is going to cut the side wall. So you would rough out a slot. You would just use a five eighths or something yeah. end mill, yeah. and then you run our tool through there. That's awesome. That's really cool. Awesome. Yep. So, uh, two more flutes to go and it'll be done. Awesome. I guess it's about an eight and a half minutes. Yeah. Um, I should have cranked up the feed and forget about tennis. Yeah. So I'm often super, super intrigued by, I know what, what the work is and for what we pay for high end tools, still. Yeah. Some people think it's expensive, but it still seems inexpensive. Yeah, and you know, the thing about these machines is you could literally buy one and make endless. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, oh, never mind. This machine is our one. Oh, okay. That's awesome. This is amazing. We're pulling off a finished end build, and we can stick in a machine. And wipe it off there. braver man than I am. Yeah, Paper so towel. that's that's a finished. I know it took oh, us a little over eight minutes. But, yeah. You see the radius man. gashing. It yeah. goes along the radius that's just slightly. Like, How many so different tools? Grinding wheels. For this yeah. tool? Uh, let's see, three. Three. But but several times for, for a lot of our jobs, I'll use every single pack in there Yeah. and every single wheel I have. Yeah. You know, so. That's amazing. Beautiful. Yep. Awesome.